Let's move on to a case to illustrate what we're talking about. You're asked to see a 72-year-old woman who's admitted to the hospital from a skilled nursing facility. She has altered mental status, and her caregiver notes that she hasn't been eating or drinking very much over the past several days. Her physical exam is remarkable for orthostatic hypotension. She has tenting of her skin and dry mucous membranes. Her laboratory evaluation is remarkable for a serum creatinine of 2.3 milligrams per deciliter, so clearly we can see that's elevated. Her BUN is also high at 58 milligrams per deciliter. So our patient is given two liters of normal saline and her serum creatinine decreases to 1.3 milligrams per deciliter the following morning. So the question is, what type of acute kidney injury does this woman have? Let's go through our case and see if we can find that answer. So there's a couple of clinical clues that really help us. Number one, if we look in her history, it states that she really hasn't been eating or drinking for the past several days, so we're already thinking in our mind she may very likely be hypovolemic. On physical exam, we actually have signs of hypovolemia. Our patient has orthostatic hypotension. She has tenting of her skin with dry mucous membranes. And then our labs are very important because we have a creatinine of 2.3 indicating that our patient has acute kidney injury. And we also see that if we give our patient volume to re-expand her vascular space and restore her volume status, lo and behold, her creatinine goes down to 1.3. That means that she's got a reversible injury or that she's pre-renal. So our answer is that this patient has pre-renal AKI due to volume depletion.